Hey there, welcome back to Coding Stuff. So in this video, we'll be learning how to use grid layout in Recycler View. So we'll be creating application like this. Uh, we'll use card view to display each item and we'll using Recycler View to display all the items. And we'll also use grid layout for uh, uh, displaying the items in columns and rows. And also we'll apply on click listener to each item. So if I click on this Instagram, you can see the toast click on zero the position clicked on one so let's fire up our render studio and start creating the project so i have created one empty project here first we'll add dependency of recycler view so we'll click on this download icon and then we'll search for card view and we'll download this dependency of card view also okay then we'll jump to our values styles and we'll select uh, this action bar and we'll change it to no action bar okay now we can drag recycler view in our activity main so i'll just drag it over here and i will constrain it horizontal in parent and vertical in parent and we'll provide width as a match constraint and height as a match constraint okay and also provide id so recycler view Okay, so now we'll just collect the idea of recycler view. So private recycler view. We'll name it as a M recycler view. M recycler view. We'll find its ID here. So find view by ID R dot ID dot recycler view. And now I will add some images in our drawable folder. So I have downloaded this uh, PNG images from internet. You can also download it and I will paste it in our drawable folder. Okay. So now we'll create a list of strings and integers. So private list. This will be type of string. We'll name it as a titles and then private list this will be type of integer and we will name it as m images okay now we'll just initialize them so titles equals to new array list and m images equal to new array list then we'll just add some values to our title so title dot add uh, let me first add images to our uh, m images so here we'll pass r dot drawable dot uh, first will be instagram then m images dot add r dot drawable dot then we'll select linkedin now we'll just duplicate it four times okay then we'll select youtube then we'll select facebook Twitter and the last one will be Skype okay so after this we'll just add titles to our uh, title array list so titles dot add and he will pass first one is Instagram so Instagram and then we'll just duplicate it five times then we have LinkedIn so LinkedIn then we have YouTube then we have Facebook then we have Twitter then the last one is Skype and we'll just uh, delete this one And also we'll create a grid layout manager. So grid layout manager and we'll name it as a grid layout manager, new grid layout manager. Here we have to pass several parameters. So first will be the context. So I'll pass here this and then the spam count that is the column count. So we'll pass here two and then we have to, sorry.
okay and then you have to pass the vertical uh, orientation so for that we'll use grid layout manager dot vertical and then we'll pass here false okay so then we'll set this uh, layout manager to a recycler view so I'm recycler view dot set layout manager we'll pass here grid layout manager and we'll set one more property that is set has fixed size and we'll pass it to okay so now we'll create a, a layout for our each item to display so we'll just click on layout and new layout resource file we'll name it as a grid item Okay, and uh, over here we'll provide some margin. First, I will press Alt Control L to format the code. Then we'll provide some margin from vertical. So this will be 20 dp, and then we'll provide margin from horizontal. Let's say of 10 dp. Okay. Then we'll add card view. So and the card view width will be 120 dp and height will be let's say wrap content okay then we have to uh, set up more properties to it so first will be let's say elevation and we'll set elevation as a let's say 10 dp okay then we'll set a margin from bottom this will be 8 dp And now we'll just constrain this. To the horizontal in parent and also vertical in parent. And we'll just change this uh, match parent to the wrap content. Okay, now cool. Uh, so inside this uh, card view will add relative layout for our image view and for our text view so relative layout so height will be match parent and uh, width will be match parent and the height will be match parent okay so over here we'll just write image view uh, image view width will be let's say 100 dp and its height will be 100 dp Okay, and we'll just add any dummy image for now. So SRC we'll use YouTube for now, and then uh, it will be central horizontal. So we'll pass it true, and we'll provide ID. So ID equals to image view. Then what can we pass? We'll just pass padding here so padding will be of 23 dp that's it okay now we'll pass here one text view text will be wrap content and wrap content sorry and then we'll pass here id so id will be text view and this will be layout below image view and the text size will be 22 sp let's set any dummy text so text and text style will be bold and it will be also central horizontal true this will be true ok that's it so you can see this layout what we have prepared so now what we are going to do we'll just create one adapter class for our recycler view so we'll click on java and the first package name new java class and we'll name it as my adapter and this will extend to recycler view dot adapter this one and inside this class we'll create new class that will be inner class so public static class name it as my view holder 
and this will extend to recycle view dot view holder this one now we have to create a uh, uh, press here alt enter to create constructor and then we'll just pass here this static class so my view holder and then we'll just press alt enter to implement some method okay so before that uh, we are going to create some variables so first will be private context context and then we'll create our list so private list and it will be type of string and let's name it as a titles and then we'll have list of type of integer and this will be type of images so let's name it as images so now we'll create one constructor so public my adapter and we are, will pass here context and then we'll pass list of type of string titles and then list type of integers and this will be images <clears throat> okay so now we'll just uh, initialize them so this dot context context this dot titles equals to titles okay that's it so now in our get count method we'll just uh, pass your size so that will be titles dot size okay so in on create method we just have to inflate the layout so for that we'll create one view so view v equals to layout inflator dot from we'll pass a context dot inflate r dot layout dot create item and then we'll pass a parent and attached to root will be false and then we'll just return here v sorry return new my view holder and inside this will pass our review that is v okay if you are having some problem understanding this uh, implementation of adapter you can watch out the video in the i button in that video i explain how to use recycler view adapter so okay now in a public static class my view holder over here we just have to initialize our widget so we have image view and the text view so we'll name it as image m image view and then we have one text view so text view m text view and we'll find their id over here using this item view so m image view equals to item view dot find view by id r dot id dot image view then we have text view so m text view equals to item view dot find view by id dot r dot id dot text view okay and in on by on bind view holder we just have to set the values so we'll use this holder from here holder dot we have text view so we'll just set it set text and we can get the text or uh, text from titles dot get and we'll pass your position then holder dot um, image view dot set image resource titles sorry we have to pass a images dot get and we'll pass a position that's it for this adapter now we'll jump to our main activity and we'll create instance of my adapter so private my adapter we'll name it as adapter and then we'll just initialize it over here so adapter equals to new my adapter and here we have to pass uh, context so we'll pass this and then we have to pass here list so titles and then images and images that's it let me define it below this one it will make more sense to you okay so now we just have to set the adapter so we have a recycler view dot set adapter and we'll pass here adapter that's it now i will click on this run button i will check how our application is looking up okay i have made it one mistake here so i'll just jump to grid 
item and if we have provided this elevation here but we have to provide a card elevation here so we'll just select card elevation and we'll pass here 10 dp also we'll just add some margin vertical of 10 dp now we can check our application now so now it is looking fine cool so let me add uh, some more items here so we'll just copy four item from here and we'll paste it and also title so we'll copy four and we'll paste it here and also if you want to provide add one click listener to each item so in our static class that is my view holder in inner class uh, using this item view we can provide that functionality so let's let me show you it's demo so item view dot set on click listener new on click listener and we'll just display one toast we have to pass the context so we'll pass here v dot get context and then text will be clicked on and then concatenate it with get adapter position so it will display on what position the item has been clicked so okay now it is looking fine and if i click on this facebook so clicked on three this is zero one two you can see so this is working fine and make sure you subscribe to the channel for upcoming tutorials so thank you for watching